Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Mashita Irimakun. Romantista Ameri. I didn't know what her bloodline power is. Obviously, they kind of hide the really more important character's bloodline abilities for really hype moments like this. Goddamn. She, her power is ridiculous. It's literally the power of imagination. And the more you believe in yourself, the more you can do anything. Super power. Super, like, durability. Speed. And then, poison resistance. So, it's not just limited to physical feats. It's like... She could fly. She could probably just fly if she I mean, everybody can fly. They have wings. Never mind. But you know what I'm trying to say, right? Ridiculous power. But as I've said before, there was there is no way they would not mention such a weakness such as if her mental collapses, right? This only works if she believes in herself. The more she believes in herself, the higher the ceiling goes. However, there might come a moment in the future where something happens. I don't know. Yuma gets in a critical threat and then she loses composure and loses belief in herself and then everything goes bad. And then the QB takes over Yuruma and she... I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. I want those more shonen moments. Who else? Opera? Opera is really strong, we know. But we don't get to see their, like, um, bloodline ability. They're really hiding it, right? Even Sullivan, he, sh he did use, like, a skill. He stopped time for a second when he was saving, like, the meteor debris. But there was no mention of a bloodline ability. They're saving that shit. You know, all the important characters. Yeah, yeah, I see what they're doing. Even Caligo, right? Because... We've seen him use his golden terror bearers attack. Oh, also I should probably credit Caligo's team Jazz and them. Fantastic, but I'm just too I'm just too captured by Amity doing her thing, right? They're really saving all that stuff. Op you can see the levels though, right? Because Opera only attacked with basic attacks like kicks, punches, no magic, no nothing fancy, but I wonder what's gonna happen when they actually start trying, right? So at the end, I think we're going to get uh Sabro and Azaz to take out the red dragon thing, but I'm sure Iduma has to come into play at some time, right? So my guess is Sabro and, and um Azaz they try really hard, something happens, it's not they can't completely follow through, and then Iduma clutches and that's the episode. We'll see. Let's start let's start today's episode. They kind of have like um No, it's not Goku Vegeta attitude. No, I mean they do sometimes. In terms of like how they should be focusing on fighting the opponent, but they might be like fighting amongst themselves to see who can get the monster, right? No, they're doing pretty okay though. Okay, no, no, no. Things are going okay. Yeah, but they're comp You know what I'm saying? They're competing amongst themselves rather than focusing on the target. Yeah. I love this trope in Shonen series. Oh? Oh, right? Wait, familiars! We haven't really fought together with familiars yet. I don't think anyone really has yet. Okay. It's just more flame attacks. Man, this... I kind of feel bad for this red dragon thing. Remember, he has his Kelpie though, and the Kelpie is superior to the Gorgon Snake. Why? Oh, Kelpie actually has water elements? That's actually a huge advantage. But the Kelpie has legs. Oh! Look at him! He's riding his Kelpie! I mean, the legs don't really mean shit, but it's just funny how his logic is. Mine is better than yours because it has legs. Ooh, Baram is thinking, damn, these kids are legit. They're monster first years. Yeah. Our cohort, the misfit group, it's kind of nuts. Hmm? Idemo, what are you saying? Azaz can't hear it. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> Uh-oh, we got cocky. We got distracted. Hell, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Iruma might have to step in. Hey, can you take that in? Somebody save him. I, I... No. That's their kid. He just evaporated in the... Fl no. Oh shit. No, Azaz is gonna be fine. This is just to elicit an emotional response from Iruma and pop off, but... Oh shit, he actually got... He got directly hit. Wait, wait, but he's flames, you know? His power is flames. That, that dragon used green flames, therefore he can withstand this so well. Oh shit. Sabro? Why is he burnt? Did he save as says? Oh! He took that! <laughs> Ultimate bro moment! Holy sh... Oh, okay, he created a shield behind, but you can see his wings and everything is all burnt. They're true rivals, man. It's not for you! 
it's for my own ambitions to become Demon King. I don't know, what's your reasoning? Mm -hmm. That means I'm superior than you. Uh, yeah, you did! <laughs> Sound logic as always. Still taking it casually, even though just a moment ago, Yuruma was having a monologue of, oh shit, we need to take this seriously. Not everything just gonna go okay. Hmm? Maybe good plan. Maybe good plan. He's actually being very level headed right now. Hmm. Your ambition. What is your ambition? Oh? Yeah, is it just about this battle? Isn't your ambition to serve Iruma? And if you were to just go down and battle like that? Damn. Yeah. And again, that was like an like episode 2 or 3, dude. He learned so much. Holy shit. I mean, he has been growing in the background. We've only seen scenes here and there, but he truly has been growing. Damn. Between Azaz and Sabro, the one you would think, you know, being the lughead would be Sabro, but he's the one that's actually being level headed right now. Ooh. This is the Sabro episode, man. This is the Sabro episode. Oh, come on. Yeah, both of you are pretty cool. Yeah. There's another attack. Yuruma or Baram? No, someone's gonna block it for you guys. Who will it be? Baram? Yes. So, I want to understand how he fights. Because it's not just using his bloodline ability. Like, what was that magic circle he just used? Oh, he took off his mask. Why? He's getting serious? Well, what? Wait, what is that? Nigi? What? He's like upside down like an owl too. Cousin of the Nigi Nigi Greens. Summoning no jutsu. He has his own monster he can fight with. That's not as familiar. No, it's just he's just using biology to fight. Shit. Who cares about blood and ability when you're just smart? <laughs> okay. doesn't seem to care about the flames. Him ripping out his mask and seeing his mouth like that? Katakuri kind of didn't want to show his math mouth either, huh? From One Piece. Alright, I got my answer. I asked, how does he fight? You know, how does he fight against... With, with his like bloodline ability being able to detect lies. It's just this. Now what? Are they combining into one? No, they... That's too cliche. No, is it actually combining into one? Oh shit, it did. <laughs> the danger is not over yet. Okay, Iduma still has a chance to pop off. Bottom can probably block it, right? But this is looking a little scary. Who's gonna save us this time? Iduma still hasn't done anything. He has a chance to pop off. Oh! Amity! She's still in the form! I thought it would be the sensei's, like the Kalego would be there, but Amity's there instead. Where did Kalego run Kalego, where you at? Kalego, where you at? Are you summoning him? Eggy sensei? But it's not your familiar, it's Eggy sensei. Wait, but if you summon him, I was like, wait, we can undo this spell, right? He really was just sitting here chilling the entire time. It's not my problem. <laughs> oh, <Bala went up. laughs> just like blocked that entire thing. I'm gonna with her too. And someone. Hello, Eggy Sensei. Hey. <laughs> I promise it was my decision. <laughs> now undo the spell, right? Is he gonna fight in the States? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god. They're gonna undo the seal, right? I mean, you can't fight in the state, right? He's actually gonna fight in the state? No fucking way. How? Eggy Sensei is going into battle. Holy shit. 
<laughs> yeah, you are so cute. <laughs> Let's do this. How is Eggy Sensei gonna fight? And. Oh, so Eggy Sensei can still use servers. Okay, okay, okay. I thought the Eggy Sensei might have been like limited to what he can do. But it's still basically Caligo, but in Eggy Sensei form. One hit! Too easy. Too easy. But, remember, these are just the magical beasts. We still have the six fingers, like, the people themselves that summoned it here, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit smaller, huh? <laughs> it's not over yet? Wait, what? Wait, wait, it's still... Like, self-destruction? Is that what's happening? Oh, it is like a self-destruction spell. Um, do we have some kind of shield? Maybe this is the time to go Panda Ruler and go Libera and just fucking shoot it into space. Can Agaris protect us with that, though? Oh yeah, we can go underneath and then cover up the kids. The fucking... I told you that's a liability of grouping everybody into that same fucking dome. Bomb made of mana. Well, can, but Ali, Ali, Ali can absorb the mana. We can suck the mana. Gluttonous ring activated. Your ring. No, 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 no. It's not over yet. There's still a possibility. Unless it actually detonates. Right. <laughs> Shit. I'm not gonna die. Come on. Oh. Huh? Wait! Rono Bay! No, he's not gonna stop this, is he? You're fucking with me right now! He's trembling right now. He's so scared, right? Wait. No. What can he do at this moment, though? Can he shift the direction, though? Because it grasps the attention of anything, right? Will it, will it actually shift the... Angle of the attack? No fucking way. Look in this direction. No fucking way. No fucking way. Run away! You gotta dodge the run! Everybody is looking at us! This beautiful idiot actually saved the day. Yeah, you're in danger though. You gotta run away. Yeah. <laughs> jump in the hole! Bro, just jump in the hole! Oh, who's Inuma? Pandarula looking like he's about to use it. It's not over yet. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you looking like you're about to blast it? But we just had to just. Maybe he'll just absorb it. Yeah, you guys weren't kidding. These couple episodes have been fucking ridiculous. Just hit after hit after hit. Oh my god. I, I would have never guessed Ronove, of all people, would be critical in saving us at that last moment. And at the very end, Iruma, I thought he would grab Ronove and jump back into the hole. But no, he's going like this. So, two options, right? We go Pandarula and go Libera and do something. But we just said, it's made up of mana. Like, if we use an attack on it, it's gonna explode. So it doesn't... Hope, unless we better can just overwhelm it and take it somewhere else or right it's a lot of mana gluttonous feeder ring absorb all the mana maybe ali comes in clutch here we'll see but man from ass ass and sabra moment to opera balam and eggy sensei moments <laughs> into ronovi at the oh my god oh my and we still had a little bit of amity and romantic to form too but this episode might be one of the best episodes so far or at least the best action combat episode, that's for sure. Just bravo, bravo. But hey, if you stick around this long and if you enjoyed my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to like a push and my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.